Hi guys, I am Udvi and today we are going to learn introduction to statistics. Statistic is a crucial subject for making decision based on statistical data. Today we will cover following topics. What is statistics? Gain knowledge about how statistic used in business, different applications of statistics, and different levels of data measurement. So mainly we will focus on definition of statistics, how stati statistics used in different business, basic statistical concept, data measurement, and statistical analysis using computer. So first we will see what is statistics. Statistic is a science related to numerical data because in statistics we have several steps to reach the findings. First you collect the data and do analysis of that data. After analysis you interpret data with different analysis and then present those findings the way you can use for decision making. Statistics word is used in two ways. Statistics can be descriptive measures computed from a sample and used to make determination about a population or statistics can be the distributions used in the analysis of data. Let's see the example of statistics. Suppose we have done survey. In that survey, we, uh, we asked few people which fruit is favorite. So according to collected data, we have done analysis and here are the findings. You can see in the pie chart, 40% people like pineapple. 25% people like orange. 20% like apple and 15% like banana. These data are hypothetical. So we can identify from this that pineapple is the most favorite fruit and banana is the least favorite fruit among all fruits. Statistics in marketing business. So now we are going to learn how statistics can be used in a marketing business. So statistics can be used to decide targeting their market. We, ha we had took example of online shopping for electronics. So suppose when we review previous data of sell, we found that men doing more online shopping of electronics than women. We can also find age range of online shoppers. Suppose 25 to 40 years old men doing more online shopping than others. So according to this data, you can identify your target market and decide your marketing strategy. Statistics used in finance business. So we had took one old study that has been taken to rate Frankfurt, London and New York for best climate as financial center using several criteria. And we had used 1 to 5 scale uh, with 5 denoting very good and 1 denoting very bad. So we had uh, taken one criteria which is personal and corporate, corporate taxes criteria. In that Frankfurt received lowest score which is 2.44 and London and New York received 3.61 which is equal for both. The second criteria was living and working environment. So in this also Frankfurt received 
lowest score which is 2.62 and new york received highest score 3.62 so we can see that uh, frankfurt is the least preferred uh, least preferred uh, place for business climate now statistics in management so uh, one survey was conducted by small business network to ask the owners of small companies how they would characterize themselves so approximately one third business owners described themselves as a big picture people who concentrate on making things run smoothly 27% labeled themselves as problem solvers who concentrate on solving difficult company problems 16% were rain makers concentrating mainly on finding new business 11% were artists more involved in creating new products than in running the business statistics in economics a wall street journal report published to help investors and other decision makers to track the state of the economy include such business statistics as the number of new home sales or index of consumer confidence the percentage increase in the gdp the unemployment rate so these statistics can serve as a indicators of economic and financial states and can be used by uh, uh, forecast as they attempt to predict future business climates now we will see some basics of statistics so first is population population is a collection of persons objects or item of interest census when researcher gather data from the whole population for a given measurement of interest they call it a census and sample sample is a small portion of whole population so generally we don't take whole population for the study but instead of that from whole population we decide small sample to take for the study now we have two type of statistics descriptive statistics and inferential statistics if a business analyst is using data gathered on a group to describe or reach conclusion about that same group the statistics called descriptive statistics and in inferential statistics the data we gathers from sample we use that statistic to generate conclusion about whole population in most athletic statistics such as batting average rebounds first downs are descriptive statistics and uh, like the impact of advertising on various market segment is inferential statistics parameter and statistics parameter is a descriptive measure of population statistics is a descriptive measure of a sample 
parameter is usually denoted by Greek letters and statistics are usually denoted by Roman letters. Population mean, population variance and population standard deviation are example of parameter. And sample mean, sample variance and sample standard deviation is example of statistics. Level of data measurement. There are four common level of data measurements. Nominal level, ordinal level, interval level and ratio level. Nominal level. Nominal is the lowest level of data measurement. The example of nominal level is students identification numbers are nominal level because those numbers don't have any value they are just to differentiate students some other examples are religion zip code numbers ethnicity social security numbers etc statistical techniques for analyzing nominal level data are limited Ordinal level. Ordinal level data measurement can be used to rank or order objects. Ordinal level data measurement is higher than nominal level data measurement. Example of ordinal level data measurement are suppose we have one computer tutorial and we are trying to rank that computer tutorial effectiveness from 1 to 5 scale where 1 is not helpful and 5 is extremely helpful so here we can see that uh, uh, those who feel this computer tutorial is helpful they will rate that tutorial 4 or a 5 rank so according to the rank you can identify uh, the tutorials usefulness some other examples are measurement of risk in mutual fund, top 50 most admired companies in Fortune magazine or maybe evaluate 4 employees according to their productivity. Interval level. Interval level data measurement is next to the highest level. In interval level data measurement, the distance between Consecutive numbers have meaning and the data are always numerical. The distance represented by consecutive numbers are equal, means interval data have equal intervals. We can take example of Fahrenheit temperatures. Temperature can be ranked and amount of heat between consecutive readings are same. Some other examples are percentage change in employment percentage return on a stock, dollar change in a stock price. Next is ratio level. Ratio level data has same properties as interval data but ratio level data have an absolute zero and the ratio of two numbers is meaningful. Ratio level data measurement is the highest level of data measurement. The notion of absolute zero means that zero is fixed and the zero value in data represents the absence of a characteristic being studied. Example, weight. With the ratio data, we can state that 90 kg of weight is twice as much as 45 kg. So we can take ratio of 90 is to 45. Some other examples are height, time, volume, Kelvin temperature, etc. Comparison between non-metric and metric data. Non-metric data is also called qualitative data. Metric data is also called quantitative data. Nominal and ordinal, ordinal level data are non-metric data. 
interval and ratio level data are metric data. Non-metric data are derived from imprecise measurement such as demographic questions. And metric data usually gathered by precise instruments used in engine like an engineering process. Statistical analysis using computer. The computer allows for storage, retrieval, and transfer of large data sets. So there are many computer softwares has been developed to analyze data with different statistical techniques. So using computer for the data analysis and to store the data is very easy and helpful. And you can take those data with you anywhere. So uh, you don't have to carry a bulk, bulk of papers for uh, storing your data. Business statisticians use software packages.